Hey guys, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. So for a long time, many of you have been wanting me to do a video about Hygge. And especially since I'm Danish, I live in Denmark in a small city just above the German border. And Hygge is a Danish word for well-being. So you all kind of have been wanting me to dig into that expression for a while. Now, as some of you might know, Denmark is among the happiest countries in the entire world. And I personally do think that Hygge has something to do with this. Hygge is not only a state of well-being in the moment, it is an entire way of living your life. So it is mainly about taking pleasure in the simple things in life and lay off that feeling of having to be on a constant go. So it's, it's highly about being present in the moment. Now I'm gonna make sure to link a bunch of books and YouTube videos for you down below of this video if the subject of Hygge is completely new to you. But the truth is it probably won't be because just because Hygge is a Danish word, Hygge is definitely something that many people experience and is a way that many people live their lives no matter what country they live in. So in today's video, I thought I wanted to share five things that I personally like to do to maintain this feeling of hygge so that maybe you can deliberately start to slow down your own life and start planting those same seeds of happiness. Now, first of all, the definition of hygge may be different from person to person. For most people, it's about sharing moments with people that really matters and about being together in a very relaxed and informal way. So usually, no matter what, it has to do with a certain feeling of well-being. Anyway, here comes five of the things that especially describes the word Hugo for me. Now, the first one for me is long walks in nature. Um, and it's especially something I have started to value after we got our dog two and a half years ago. So I get my daily dose of it even without questioning it or without having to force myself because the dog needs his daily walks. So we walk three times every day with our dog and my husband and I do it together. It has not become a task that one of us just has to deal with or get over with. It's actually something that we enjoy and we look at it as small breaks during our busy schedule where we can just leave our phones behind and just be present. So it's something that we both really value on a daily basis, even though some people find it weird that we get up at 5.30 in the morning and walk our dog together, even though we are not even going to work at the same time. But like I said, it's just something that we value and it's a great way of us to be together and just be present. So last summer, you might remember my vlog from the Danish island called Fajø. I went there with my husband, our dog, and then my brother and his girlfriend. It was just a great week with lots of nature and walks by the ocean and great talks. In general, we just got up every day. We didn't even think about what we looked like. We just went straight out of bed and just had a really pleasant time. We just hung out for an entire week and unplugged and we had our dinners outside and watched movies in the evenings. And um, I just can't wait to get away to that little paradise again this year. So that's also something really simple, but something that resembles Hugo to me is to get away somewhere where you can just totally be yourself and just be present with people who matters a lot to you. So self-pampering is a subject that I kind of like to return to quite often here on my channel, actually. To me, it's just really important to take good care of yourself. I try to take as good care of myself as possible during our busy weeks, um, just by eating healthy, getting some exercise and just remembering to breathe. However, I actually do like to schedule in a few hours to give myself a little bit of extra care during a, a busy month. And I have actually already made a video about my eco-friendly and very simple pampering routine that I will make sure to link for you guys down below so you can go check that one out. Nothing has really changed ever since. We've just gone through winter, so I might do some things to take even better care of my dry winter skin, but other than that, 
it's pretty much the same routine that I do now. So lighting a bunch of candles and filling the tub or making yourself a nice hot foot bath or something similar is real hygge to me and it's a great way to relax and a great way to kind of come out on the other side as a better and more relaxed version of yourself. Now, visiting family and friends or having people coming over in our house is so important for me and my husband. And that's one of the reasons why we wanted such a big house that we have because we wanted people to have the opportunity to sleep here for an entire weekend and you know just have a very welcoming and guest friendly house so to make a lovely meal for people that i love or you know go to someone who's made a meal or just even making a meal for my husband and i is something that i really cherish and that is just true hygge to me so gathering together around good food with people that you love is probably what most people look at as hygge. I especially love those dishes that takes a long time to eat, especially if it's like a three course menu or if we pull out our raclette. So we can just sit by the table for hours and talk and eat and just have a hygge time. Another thing that I really love doing is looking at old photographs. I know that you don't do this the same way that you used to anymore because many of us have um, photos on our computers, on our phones and not so much in physical forms anymore. But we actually often go through all of the folders with old pictures that we have on our computer. My husband and I have been together for almost 10 years now. We met when I was 18 and he was 19. Um, so we pretty much grew up together. So we often sit together and go through old photos of like from our first apartment or from some of the festivals that we've gone to with some of our best friends or some of the trips that we've had around the world together. It's just a really heartwarming and fun way to spend an evening together. Maybe make some popcorn or drink a glass of wine. It's just really hygge. It's also a great way to keep the bond we have together really strong to kind of cherish those memories and also to remind each other what a wonderful life we've built together and to kind of look forward to all of the adventures that are ahead of us as well. Now, the last one is probably no surprise to those of you who have been following me for a long time, especially given the fact that I'm probably what you would call a minimalist. So clutter-free surroundings, especially to me, is something I really value and are kind of an important component when it comes to hygge. So keeping our home clutter-free and practice the art of tidying up is one thing, but freeing yourself from all of these unnecessary stuff in the long run is definitely also something that has been very important in this whole minimalist journey to me. Once you succeed with that, with actually freeing yourself from wanting all these unnecessary things, tidying up and keeping the areas you have around you clear is actually an easy task. Living in clutter-free and clear surroundings help me staying focused, stay present, feel safe and grounded and those are just all very valuable synonyms to the term hygge. So there you have it guys, that were some of my values when it comes to hygge. Of course there may be many other ways of experiencing hygge and you might experience others than those that I have mentioned today. If you do then please make sure to write them down below because I'd love to read how you experience hygge. If you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel before you leave, I would love to have you around. Also, make sure you swing by my blog. I write posts every week about the capsule wardrobe system and this very mindful lifestyle approach in general. So I guess all there's left to say now is that I wish you all a wonderful day and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye guys.